And what's up, replay viewers? Let's see who tunes on in. Uh, I see Darlene W., first one in the room, and Oleg Zignevev, welcome. Good to see you, Michelle King and Esteban Fernandez, welcome. Good to see you, ABX Girl and Deacon 7000, welcome. Good to see you, Karen J. McLean, welcome. And Julie B., welcome. Good to see you, Shaman Zito and Deacon 7000. Do you love that 80s, 70s, 80s feeling to the show? You gotta love the music of Ed Koloff. Good to see you there. Uh, Diana Lee's out there in London and Dave Jeffries in Niagara Falls. Welcome. Alfred Clues is in Canada. Welcome. Miss Cecilia Thomas, welcome on into the show. And Michelle King, welcome. Good to see you. Claudio Ordomentri, welcome. Good to see you. Daniel in Vermont, good to see you. Susan Ingalls, good to see you. Sarah C. <clears throat> welcome to City Hall. Here in Lower Manhattan, we have a lot to see on this cold. I forgot to put "cold and windy" in the in the title to to make you, give you guys the, the action. You guys need to feel the action here. It's cold here in New York. Um, <clears throat> cold. I'm going to do my best to stay warm, Michelle. Good to see you. I'm going to do my best to stay warm on this cold day. Good to see you there. Do you like the squirrel there, Dan? I'm the squirrel's friend. They got a little pizza my lunch. Good to see you, Mark Friedman. Welcome. Good to see everybody, people. Hope everyone's having a great Thursday. John Lord, it's freezing. It's cold, dude. It's cold. Good to see you, D-Dirty. Happy Thursday. British Gray, welcome on into the show. Happy Thursday. Feeling cold in Cleveland. Turn on the heat, Darlene. Turn on the heat. Good to see you, Caroline N. Welcome. Let's get, uh, let's get to 75 likes if we can. Can we hit 75 likes before we begin the broadcast? Let's see if we can hit 75 Good to see everybody, people. Good to see everybody, people. A lot to see. In, is, it, is it the top of the hour? Is it the top of the hour? The bells of City Hall ringing in the background. Is it the top of the hour? Did, did I start the broadcast at the top of the hour? That's fantastic. <clears throat> but good to see everybody. Welcome. Oh, look at that, 158. Look at that. Nice. TV time. TV time. <laughs> 58 minutes past the hour. So, all right, top of the hour. Top of the hour. We got lots to see. This is going to be a, a kind of, I realize it's going to be kind of like an art, art themed uh, tour today. So, that's going to be fun. Got lots to see art wise. Got lots of great murals coming up today. Cold day for spring, yes indeed, Caroline. But you know, it, this is New York, so it, it could snow today. It could snow as late as April. So this is March, so March could be three seasons in one. It could be four seasons in one. Pat Waters, good to see you, Pat Waters Vlogs. Celebrating 25 months of Dutch Moz Plus, much appreciated. Darlene, do you love the art? We got some great stuff to see today. We got some great stuff to see today. And if you're in New York, you're gonna find, possibly, if we're allowed to live stream it, um, <clears throat> possibly some new retail opportunities if you want to buy cool stuff and make your friends jealous. So um, we're going to try to go to a pop-up art store. So let's see. The weather is eh, kind of unpredictable, Deacon. Yes, yeah, Saturday is going to be a rain out. It's snowing up there in Canada. Nice. Snowing up there in Canada. Yeah, the, the weather is unpredictable. It's hot. Yesterday was perfect weather. Now it's cold. Uh, give me an idea of how cold it is. And now when people say, turn the camera around, let's see your face. You can tell them to rewind the broadcast. I'm in my winter jacket again. I'm in my winter jacket again. Wearing the hat. I got the, got the hold on, hold on. Got the, got the live stream glove. So good to see you, MXP2000. Welcome. Uh, Easter is early this year, so maybe a, ch a chance of snow. At this point, looking at some of the long-term long uh, forecasting, I don't think it's going to snow. I think we're done with snow here in New York City. Officially, on average, here in New York City, we got around seven, eight inches of snow. But um, the tour was fantastic. We had 17 people. And uh, so thank you to everyone who tipped. Good to see you, John Burke. Welcome. Good to see you, Ramona. Got the glove. We're good to go. I got, I got some... I got, we had, some, uh, had a great sausage and pepper. Sausage and pepperoni roll from the Little Italy pizza place down the block over here. So that was my lunch. So what did you have for lunch? I had a sausage and pepperoni roll. But aloha, everybody. Aloha. Aloha. Here, right there, City Hall. Let's take a look at it. Wee. Is it this way? It's this way. City Hall, everybody. 
Good to see you, Adriana. Welcome. You're looking at the oldest continu continuously operating city hall in the United States. The building was completed in 1811. It opened up for business in 1812. To give, to give you a good idea of how small the city was back in 1812, uh, the city extended just about five blocks north from here, and there was literally farms within about five blocks from here. So behind that, you see the municipal building with the be beautiful statue perched on top, civic fame. One of my favorite statues here in New York City. Santa, I look different in the spring. Yes, I do, Oleg. Ha, 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 ha. Good to see you there, Marsha Johnson. Welcome. The municipal building, home to the city sanitation department and the Department of Transportation, have some offices in there also. Also, all the members of city council have their offices in there. We have 52 members of New York City Council. They run the city, people. Uh, don't throw pizza be better off robbing somebody. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, uh, there was a, a, a an artist who yesterday did a a, a, a two well, two a two man protest where they were throwing pizza uh, into City Hall and um, yeah, they got arrested. Well, the guy who put <clears throat> the guy who put the whole. Uh, protests together got arrested it was it, i wanted to live stream it but then again i was like uh, i'd rather do something pretty and we did do something pretty at the botanical garden anyway ugh, he shows plants people he shows ah he shows plants people good to see you tonya welcome let's see can we get 75 likes we have 85 people watching i want 75 likes 75 likes and you'll activate my legs. Yeah, he's Staten Island's favorite son. I forgot his name already, John. Please forgive me. I forgot his name. Love Art went to uh, MICA in, in the 80s. Awesome. Right? Something pretty and positive. Exactly. When, you got, uh, when MXP graduated, he became a garbage man and he's fond of sanitation departments. Well, the sanitation department is a much needed thing. Um, Cheese Puff said it looked like good pizza. It was good pizza. It was from the Little Italy uh, pizza place down the block over here. How dare I live stream? I know Jack. Good to see you, Jack. Scott Lobato. There you go. Scott Lobato. There you go. Scott Lobato did his one-man protest of throwing pizza into City Hall and immediately got arrested. But hey, some birds got some pizza. Oh, look. There's the end of my... Uh, look, guys. Here's my lunch. I'm going to show you my lunch. That right there that the birds are nipping on, that's my lunch. <laughs> I gave the birds the end piece of my of we of my uh, roll there, of my sausage pepperoni roll. So the little birds have been enjoying that. So there you go. My good deed for the day. Good to see you, Ron. Welcome from Rotterdam. And Nick Nagler, welcome. The birds are enjoying my my crust. Yay. Good to see you, Colleen. Welcome. There were a lot more little birds around when I first uh, threw it down there. But life in New York. Ooh. Life in New York, people. Uh, John Capola. Hey, must have been restarted. Uh, hey, are you going to be passing any points where the Battleship New York might be passing by? Is the Battleship New York in the Hudson River? Where is the battleship New York? Is it in the Hudson River? It either has to be in the Hudson River or the um, or the harbor for us to see it. Do you know what? I don't know where it is. Do, if you know where it is, if if you, if you think it's in the harbor or the Hudson River, we could go by. We could go down there. We really have no set plan today. I literally have maybe three or four points of interest that I want to hit up, but that's about it. Uh, um, you know where I am? I'm in City Hall Park. Good to see you, Jerry. Welcome. Yes, I'm in City Hall Park. Uh, let's see. The New Jersey is docked, is, is docked dry docked, floating from Camden to its birth dry dock. Uh, if that's Camden, New Jersey, that's all the way on the other side of the state of New Jersey, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so where's the dry dock? Uh, yes, early bird always catches the worm, RJ. Good to see you. And PD and Sheena, Welcome. But yeah, where's the dry dock and where is it floating to and from? Good to see you, Paul Greenwell. Welcome. Now, okay, I, then I, I, John, I can't, I can't. If you don't know where it is, I can't really help you. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure 
the battleship New Jersey. It's normally moored in Camden, New Jersey. Uh, when it lifts to its dry dock, and I believe the dry dock, please look, somebody look this up. I think it's either in Maryland or Virginia. Uh, it's going to get, it's going to get, uh, oh, PD and Tonya know each other. Uh, um, PG and Tonya know each other. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I believe it's, I believe, I know Philly's near Camden. It's on the other side of the state of New Jersey. Yeah, look at the dry, it's a docked in Philadelphia. Yeah, I, I don't think we could see it today, John. I don't think we could see it today. It's in a, it's in a far flung body of water that is completely on the other side of New Jersey where we're at right now. But okay, let's move on. The ship is, most ships are huge. Most battleships are huge. Uh, we have 78 likes. All right, I'll give it. I'll give it to you guys. Let's start walking. Bloody hell. Welcome to a very sar sarcastic and kind of tour guidey Dutch Maas today. As the siren siren, it is time show. It is show time. It is show time. It's show time. It's show time, baby. Good to see you, Jerry. Oh, good to see you, Jerry. 187, welcome. And yes, it does. So it does it has nothing to do with New York. That's right. It has nothing to do with New York, everybody. I don't know how we would see it. We will have to take the Amtrak train. Well, the Concord floated back the other day. We, I missed that, unfortunately. They did a photo op with the damn Statue of Liberty. Ooh, it's fucking cold in the wind, guys. Good to see you, Betty. Betty, it is a pretty day, but it's freaking cold. Freaking cold. Jose Torres, where? Pa Puerto Rico. Buenvenidos, Jose Torres. All right, we bid, we bid farewell to City Hall. This is where we begin. And this is where I put on my live stream glove because it's freaking cold. We got a lot to see today, guys. We got, oh my God, we got a lot to see. Let's put on the glove, people. All right, kids. Off we go. Off we go. So you experience the greatest city in the world. New York, New York. The city's so nice, they supposedly named it twice. <laughs> I think we have some kind of one-man protest going on here in City Hall Park. I think somebody's doing like a hunger strike, so let's see that. And as we make our way over to the person doing the hunger strike, I'm going to take this moment to ask you guys if you could kindly, do you have a food pantry in your neighborhood? Because I could guarantee you within a mile of your house there is somebody who is food insecure. So what I would like you to do, if you, if you can, if you got any extra food or want to make a donation to your local food pantry, it'll be much appreciated from your friend Dutch Maas. Done intermittent fasting? That's a good thing. It's not easy, no, but it's a good thing. I'll see you later, John. Have a great afternoon. Stay warm. But yes, if you could donate to your local food pantry oh, I appreciate that John thanks for donating some food to your local pet shelter that's another worthwhile cause always adopt never buy always adopt I am for the people I'm for the children I'm for the people <laughs> Ooh, okay let's let's warm up I got too relaxed and now I'm cold hey guys Let's do it. They repaved Broadway. Look how nice Broadway is. It has no markings at all, so the traffic kind of moves like olden times when we first had cars. Hello there, Jeremy. Welcome. So here we have it. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on. One man protest here. Stop the 24 hour shift. Amen. I think this is bringing awareness to live in home health care aids. Yeah. Stuff. Wow. Oh. Good to see Robojax. Yeah, no more. Hello. 
Hey. Hey, are you a member of the press? Or? No, well, I just I, I just give virtual tours, so we just came up on this. Oh. I think this is bringing awareness to home health care aids, is what I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these are home attendants who are on hunger strike now. Yeah. Fighting to end the 24 hour wow. tour home attendants in New York City. So you do virtual tours? Yeah, this is a virtual tour, so there's like a couple hundred people watching right now, and they're. Ah. And they're it, where, where, where are they all? Uh, they're all from all around the world. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I just I started up here and I saw this pop up just now. How long are you planning to be here for? We're going to be here for several as more days. Okay, days, and it's going to be cold. Oh yeah, my god! It is cold. They've been and they've been sleeping. They've been out all night sleeping. Wow. So yeah, so this is really for New York City. Yeah, well, this is something the that's yeah, that's that has to end. It has to stop. On end, days on end. Yeah. So and and these are the people who count on to take care of our families and our loved ones and so on. So yeah. they work these hours. Oftentimes, so many are injured themselves; they have to retire early. Yeah. And up needing care themselves. So there's no reason to do it. You yeah. Just end the 24-hour work day. Make two 12-hour shifts, three 8-hour shifts. Better care for the patient. Absolutely. Better care for the, certainly healthier. For the yeah. So. Well, this is so good. Kind of, good luck to you. Yeah, what kind of work? Uh, well, I just I'm, I'm I'm a tour guide here in New York, so but we just go see to see, and we just. So, yeah, yeah that's all well, we do. People are here, have them. Do you have a website you want to shout out? Yeah, we can, uh, you can go to uh, nomore24.org, all one word, nomore24.org. Okay. You can look at everything up. Also, we're on Instagram, AIW, and I Woman Instagram, posting about everything that's going on. Okay. okay? Thank you so much. Okay, I welcome. really appreciate it. Yeah. And good luck to you guys. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something that's, hear this, guys? Thank you so much. Okay, it's something I desperately needs to be addressed oh my lord they gotta stay out here all night oh god bless those people oh man it's cold cbd it's cold oh my god if i miss comments sorry about that i was talking with that uh representative from the uh from the hunger a whole bunch of people are on hunger strike and 24 hour shifts for home health care aids it's a regular thing here in here in new york state and um See, talking about, you know, things that impact us, you know, we have this scenario going on right now, which is just, I think it's insane to work 24 hours on a location. It's not an easy job, and home health care aides are definitely underpaid, considering how much we pay in insurance. <laughs> it's something that shouldn't be happening. And there's the link. Thank you so much, Strawberry Fields. Uh, Civic Infamy, stream your bike tour tomorrow. Civic bike tour, I have things to do, dude. <laughs> I can't just, I can't, I have a schedule. And sorry about last time, I, 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 got, I got neurovirus. So I was down for two weeks. But, uh, yeah, sorry about that, man. I can't come on your tour tomorrow. Um, anyway. Yeah, it's great mission. Yeah, 12-hour work weeks, is insane. 12-hour work day is insane. There you go. Welcome to, ooh, it's cold. Welcome to, um, this is Chambers Street. This is Chambers Street here. Uh, here in New York, uh, because that's because they live on site cheese puffs. So that's a little bit different than home health care aids. Little bit different cheese puff. I don't know, what, what's the relevancy of that cheese puff? Are you just making the, the uh, statement? That worker, that firemen work 24 hour shifts? EMT workers too, exactly. Let's be honest, none of those, none of those jobs should really be 24 hour jobs. Good to see you, Beach Bum. Welcome. Ooh, it's fucking cold. All right. I'm gonna try to stay out of the wind. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay out of the wind. And we're gonna walk, uh, you're crossing Broadway here, going west along fucking Chambers Street. Fuck, it's cold. Oh my lord. Mm, uh, I gotta warm up. I got too relaxed sitting in the sun. The live stream glove is deployed, Jim. Good to see you. Good to see you, Care Max. Welcome. Cynthia Ava, good to see you. Welcome on into the show. We went right back to fucking winter. I'm getting a hot coffee when I get back to Coney Island. No job should be 24 hours. Exactly. Even if properly compensated. Exactly, Strawberry Fields. Exactly. 
Yeah, you can't live to work. Exactly. Good to see you, Charles. Welcome. Ooh, I'm shivering, guys. I'm walking into the wind, and I am... Ooh, I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm shivering. I'm shivering right now. I got too comfortable sitting in the sun eating my lunch. The sun felt so good. Oh, fuck, it's cold. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing... I feel like I'm doing uh, cold... Cold weather. It's so hot. You love this? Awesome. Good to see... Uh, Paultis? Paul Paultis? From Poland. Good to see you out there in Poland. Mary Lily, good to see you. Oh, I will warm up when the stream ends. I will warm up when the stream ends. <laughs> I will warm up when the stream ends. Okay, good to see you, Ibrahim. Carmen Duke from Guyana, checking on in. Good to see you. I'm going to make sure to work, walk in the sun. Oh, it's fucking cold. All right. John M., I'm doing great. Hope you're doing well in London. Whew. Oh, are they blasting the heat? Are they blasting the heat in your school? Nice. They're blasting the heat in the school where it's needed. <laughs> Make it help you fall asleep while you do your studies, right? <laughs> oh my God, it's so fucking cold. All right. Oh, Chamber Street. Actually, let's just let's just skip the. Let's go up West Broadway. Let's go up West Broadway. I love some of the signs on this block here. He's like vintage ass sign right here. How great is that? I love that. It's the kind of shit I live for. You're on your lunch break. Nice. I've pretty much been outside since uh, 7.20 this morning. And it was a lot colder when I woke up there, but good to see you there. Sally Skipico, welcome. You remember? Oh, you remember that there, ABX girl? Cool. Well, let's make this fast. He's watching the sidewalk. Yeah. Now, that's how it is in school. They they pump up the heat. <laughs> they pump up that heat. Fuck, it's cold. Oh, my Lord. You get into that wind, man. That wind sucks. It's not, it's no fun. It's no fun. I'm not superhuman, Karen. Yes. Broadway, one block over, right over there. Yeah. Two, 290 Broadway. I want to say you got to go down to Broadway and then make the left. Yeah. Woo, it's cold, man. All right, let's keep moving. I'm in tour guide mode. I can't shut it off. Oh, man. Those buildings should be landmarked with the signage. You can't really save signage, unfortunately. You can't really save signage. Yeah, strawberry. It's cold. <laughs> It's cold. Griff, I'm doing great. Shivering, but I'm doing great. I'm going to do my best to walk in the sun. Did a bike tour over Brooklyn Bridge today. and uh, We were going against the wind. Didn't need to use our brakes coming off the bridge. Good to see you, Din Din. Welcome. Audrey B. Welcome. It's a chilly day here in New York. But hey, if you got gloves and you got your winter jacket, you should be comfortable. Uh, making our way because it, it that's frozen. Making our way to the Ghostbusters firehouse right now. We'll hit this up first. And then I, I think we're going to try to hit up a pop-up store, which is right over here. It's not that far. And then uh, I think we're going to transition over to the east side. And I think we're going to take like Orchard Street. And then we got some murals to check out up in the uh, kind of Chinatown, 
Lower East Side area. And I want to ultimately end at 34th Street because I've heard, I heard there's some of the, the spring show at Macy's. Parts of that seem to be up. So, yes, yeah, spring your ass. This is the way it always is every year, so. I wish I could see under the blanket, but I had to come out here. <sighs> anyway. It's a beautiful but cold day. At least, I mean, thank God the sun is out. The sun wasn't out it will be a lot colder so all right what do we got here thomas thomas street and i think this is the west broadway uh, one block over from church ah awesome this cynthia awesome i think march will leave like a lion it's got to get warm. It's got to get warm, so we just got to hang on out. It's getting warm. It's got to get warm, so. Alejandro from Argentina. Buenvenidos. Yeah, no, it's perfectly blue sky. So at least we have that. But once you get into the wind and into the shade, it gets cold. It gets cold. Oh, we got some production trucks right over there. So upstate got snow. Yeah, upstate. A good chunk of upstate got snow. Good chunk of upstate got some snow. Just a couple of inches though, nothing crazy. But they got snow. Hello there, Apple from Amazon, from, uh, from Holland. Ah, some hectag, some hectag hearts. He does those hearts everywhere. There are so many hectag hearts around. All right, here's Leonard Street, the, uh, The bean is right up the block. We're not going to see the bean today, though. Do I, I don't even know if I, I don't even know if I have the light or not. That's great. All right. But I have to stop by this pop-up. Ooh, I, caught, I fucking missed the light. Oh. See, I'm walking so fast, I end up in front of traffic. Good to see you there, Mish. Ooh, you got to get one to three inches of snow in Michigan tomorrow. Nice. Well, maybe not nice, but this is how it is this time of year. So it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. What is this? It's like mulch. Mulch. They're redoing the little park here. <clears throat> nice. These are the people that keep the city looking so cool. Got our little nice little green spaces. Right. I was hearing last night I was hearing this, a discussion about how what's the scenario where it's going to snow here in New York and it's like everything has to be in agreement it's like the direction of the wind the uh, amount of precipitation it's like there's all these different factors that have to all agree for it to snow this time of year in new york it doesn't say that can't happen but it's not looking very likely fuck it's cold in that wind fuck look how cold it is out here in new york look at this look at how cold it is here in new york oh my god it is so cold here in new york oh my god burr Wow, he frozen, he frozen place. 
He froze in place. Holy cow. He froze in place. <laughs> the whole place froze. That's how cold it is. Uh, ooh, look at this car. Yo. Are they like on some mission? <laughs> is this some kind of game show or something like that? Or? Uh, oh, hey man, good to see ya. <laughs> are they, are they gonna hack my internet? <laughs> good to see you, Phyllis, welcome. How cold it is out here. <laughs> Lisa, you just got home from work? Awesome. You know what's crazy? This is still a functioning firehouse. This is, it's still a functioning lighthouse, a firehouse. Oh my God. What is it, some kind of game show or something like that? I win. What? I win. We, lo we lost. You lost? <laughs> this is, <laughs> or is this like some kind of gumball rally? I mean. Oh my God, look, is he, now we actually have some, some folks here. <laughs> you see folks, it's a movie set. New York, it's not real. It's not real. It's not real, people. Oh, they're going to they're gonna take pictures. Everybody's taking pictures here in the movie set. That is New York. I like how they're, how people are swarming here. <laughs> Oh, everyone's, everyone's getting in there. Everyone's say, feeling like these are famous people. Are they famous people? Are they famous people? Are they famous people? They famous people? Sorry, guys. On this cold day, they just broke the car. <laughs> Come on, on over here. It's a movie set. Good to see you, man. <laughs> I was right around the corner when I saw that you were on. The oh, nice, so, nice. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> uh, I got a tour here yesterday, and uh, if you skin that QR code, it's like an augmented reality. Yeah, augmented reality. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ghost. Yeah. So, uh, I, wanted to <laughs> I wanted to show your, your viewers. But uh, it's not working right now. Probably uh, really? Probably because it's half in the shade. And so oh, okay. Uh, oh, there, there go these guys. I still... Future organ donors, it says on their car. Okay. Who knows? Pretty cool though. I mean, I'm gonna miss this when they take it all away. Yeah, it's gonna be a hit. Like this is a regular stop on my tour. Yeah. Oh, nice. So I'm happy to have something new. You know, nice. I always try to find the temporary stuff because it's easy to miss. It's ephemeral. You gotta love ephemeral stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the, the ephemeral stuff is always like really easy to miss. You gotta do it the right time. Mm. You gotta really follow things. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty neat. Yeah. I've, oh. I've never seen any movie except for the original. Really? You didn't see all the, the new one and the no, part two? I'm and excited for this one because they got the original cast. I, yeah. No, I think it was so cool that when the sky turned orange, they were filming the Ecto-2 going down Broadway. So I got to see that over on Chambers and Broadway when the sky turned orange. Oh, the day that the, the, the day the sky way. turned orange, they were going down Broadway with the Ecto two and the whole camera rig on the truck and everything. It was wow. fucking hilarious. Of course, the day that the sky turns orange, they, they fucking shoot Do you that. Think that was intentional? No, was no, I wish. No, I don't okay. think they. I don't think they colluded with Canada that much. <laughs> no, I'm saying like I don't know. Like a lot of like a lot of filmmakers were outside that day. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to get home. After I did the bike tour that morning, I just wanted to get home. Yeah, I kind of panicked. I, was, I kind of panicked and I was like, I don't like this. Yeah, luckily but, I wasn't working that day. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe you had a bike tour that day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, ride safe, man. I wish I could make your tour tomorrow, but I already got uh, plans. I have a bunch coming out. Okay, cool. I'll try and post it. Yeah, keep me posted, man, all right? All right. Take care, Later, guy. <laughs> Good to see you there, Nibble. Let's catch up with the chat. The top. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much, there, Jim, for the for the uh, for the information about what the hell we were looking at. Good to see you there, Saidi friend. Good to see you, Tanya. Yes, the Firehouse is advertising the new movie. Good to see you, Tanji. Welcome. 
I know, I gotta get back in the sun, I know. Isn't that cool? All right, good to see everybody, welcome. Good to see everyone. All right, let's, uh, let's head over. Let's go, we'll just go down Broadway for now. I mean, uh, Canal for now. Oh, actually, we gotta do the, um, oh, we'll turn the next corner. We gotta head down to the uh, Flacco store pop-up. Let's see what that looks, let's see what that is. Oh man, yes. Walking against the wind here as I go north. Ah, uh, the internet. You gotta love it. I think tomorrow we're gonna be back in Queens. So, stay tuned. And we'll be back in Queens for a second time this week. Yes, the internet, Ian, isn't it amazing? All right, let's head over to church again. We've got to head over to church. Good to see you, Ian. Welcome. Good to see everybody, people. Oh, my God. As we come up to 6th Avenue here, this is where they filmed Mr. Telephone Man. The new edition, they filmed that music video right across the street. I'm gonna cross that street in a moment. This is where the old man went crazy on us, parking in the, parking in the crosswalk, remember that? Wasn't that fun? See, it looks pretty, but it's not. <laughs> it's cold. It looks pretty, but it's cold. Good to see I love the 80s. Welcome, thanks for hitting that like button, everybody. Burger Max, yeah. Ooh, ooh, that wind. Ooh, that wind. Ooh, yeah, that wind. Hey. I love how many streets need to be milled. Has anyone noticed, like, Half of the streets in the city right now are like torn up. Torn up intentionally. Oh fuck, it's dusty too. Yeah, it's cold today there, photos. That's why I've been outside since 7.20 this morning. <laughs> for the most part, I've been inside at moments, but for the most part I've been outside. Okay, I wanna say pop-up stores over there or on this block over here let's see 10k good to see you all right it's a little tough to cross because there's no crosswalks am I rolling tomorrow um, I don't know if I'm rolling tomorrow I'm going up to Queens. Very cold mailman, Johnny Lee. Stay warm, brother. Stay warm. Fuck, oh, it's cold. We're looking for the pop-up shop. Good to see a coaster kid. Welcome. We're looking for a pop-up. Uh, it's called the Revolving Store. It's called the Revolving Store, and it's like one of these blocks here. Right? But I for already forgot what block it is. Fuck, this is like dangerous. Rolling in Queens? Yes, I'll be rolling in Queens tomorrow. Oh, get out. He's, he's going way, so way over the speed limit, I could tell. And then, right when I get the light, I could da-da-da, just walk out. See, this guy here, he's not even going to acknowledge that there's like normally a crosswalk right here. So, <laughs> I'm going to almost get hit by cars. Good to see you, Neil. Welcome. What would Dutch Mons get hit by first? A scooter? Or a car. Make your bets now. Okay. Where is this revolving store? That's what we're looking for. It's on one of these blocks right here. It's on one of these blocks. I gotta see the number. 
And if anyone wants to look it up, that would be great. The revol we're looking for the revolving store. That's what I think it's called. Featuring the art of Flacco. Let's see, is it here? Let's see. May. All I need to see is a number, and I'll be good. Is that 213? Okay, it's definitely. Okay, 213. Okay, we're gonna have to go the other way. All right. Yes, we're gonna go the other way. 293 Church. Thank you so much, Photos. 293 Church. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I gotta go up. I gotta go this way. Yeah, I gotta go this way. Thanks, guys. And Louise Poppy's here. Everybody, follow Louise Poppy. She's a great live streamer from New Zealand. Kia or Louise, hope you're doing well. Everyone, give her a follow. She needs way more subscribers. She's an OG live streamer. Good to see you there, uh, Jay Chulo. Welcome. Let's see, it's 290. I knew it was like 290 something. 293, 298, two, see, sorry, two, here we go, 291, that's 289, here it is, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, is it crowded in there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the camera on me, and I'm gonna see if I'm able to live stream this, so let's see, Ooh. hello, is it okay if I show the art in here? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm doing like a virtual tour, so. Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Sure yeah, absolutely. No, and we got like, uh, we got some Flacco stuff here, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You know about the artist? <laughs> of course, yeah. I follow him on Instagram. Yeah. And just uh, great I'm work. I'm very lucky to see one of his murals every day because they're like down the block from my house. And Dude, like, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I was able to like put the artist and the mural together or something. All right. <laughs> all right, man. Thank you, man. I'm gonna... All right. Look at this cool stuff in here. Oh, my goodness. This is like legit. Oh. Let's see. Oh, my God. Guys. So nice and toasty in here. Oh, these are like skateboards up here. And look, here it is. This is what we came here for. You could buy this print here, by the way. There he is. This is what we came here for. Look at this, I love these. Can you guys see the pigeons? They're so great. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace, Flacco. Yeah. Kind of a, literally, literally a cafe that sells Really cool art. Well, we went there to see the Flacco. We're gonna see that now in person. So we're gonna actually go to that right now. He was cool, but the lady kind of took over and I don't know, her energy was weird. But yeah, that's proper, that's proper live streaming etiquette, folks. You put the camera on yourself and you ask, and then you flip the camera around. Good to see you, Bob Doyle. If I missed you, welcome to the show. Wandering the streets of Manhattan today. On the lookout for cool art. And who knows, what else? I know there's some, some pop-up giveaways that we, yep. that we may run into along our adventure today. Keep on hitting that like button, everybody. 
oh my God, only 181 likes and there's 335 of you guys watching. What the hell? Can we get up to at least 315 likes? Jeez Louise, Louise, Poppy, ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Ian, we were just at the firehouse. We were just at the Ghostbusters firehouse. Bloody hell, 100, only a, wow, you guys are barely at 50%. What the hell? Let's break that two thirds number. Come on, what the hell? I'm kind of disappointed. We have an influencer in the wild here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry, Louise. <laughs> Everyone follow Louise Poppy. Thank you so much. I know, cheap on the likes. Oh my God. And now we're going to lose people watching. It's going to drop below 300 now. Watch. It's going to drop below 300. Can you want to hit that like button? Can we hit 315? We're at 330, for God's sake. Uh, see, there we go. We drop, we drop below 300. Oh, I'm not watching him now. He's asking for likes. Fuck that. <laughs> no, we're going to drop below 300. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. Broadway, everybody. Broadway, and we're down the block. Up the next block is Casey Neistat's office. 368 Broadway. I know, they drop out. Exactly. I, please, can you hit, please, pretty please, with a sugar on top and a quaalude on the side. Hit that thumbs up button. It helps me tremendously in the algorithm. <laughs> Good to see Ms. and Brano. I know they were all lurking the whole time. I know, they must watch those other live streamers. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Lordy Lord. Well, I know likes are free. I know, they really genuinely like this shit, but see, we scared off like almost 40 people. <laughs> these, are, these are probably the people who comment a lot in other people's live streams, but not this one for, for some reason. Anyway. Hey, we're kind of like in Soho right now, yeah. Kind of like in Soho right now. Good to see you, Lorraine. We're in Tribeca. Tribeca. And as we make our way across here, we're gonna be in, we're gonna be in Chinatown. It's nice walking with the wind. Nice walking with the wind. Cortland Alley, a very Instagrammable alley. Good to see you there, Leela. And Neil from Scotland. Thanks for sharing the video on Facebook. Much appreciated. Look how pretty New Yorky that is. Yeah. All right, where the hell are we? Center, right? Lafayette. Lafayette. I want to take this all the way east. I want to go all the way, all the way, all the way east. I want to go all the way. Yes, indeed, Steve Lapon. It's nice and chilly out here. If, if you walk into the wind, Steve, it gets freaking cold. But I love the uh, discussion that Joe and... Joe Chaffee and Joe Rea, well, it's actually just the Joe show. Joe Chaffee was doing the show solo last night. And he was talking about the conditions for snow here in New York City this time of year. And yeah, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. They have the light. What the fuck? They have the light. Dude, Sunshine NYC, welcome. Thanks for liking the video. Appreciate it. I'm, I try to be the best. I try to be, but wow, that guy's texting and turning the car, turning a van. Wow, that guy was multitasking big time. Is it that time where everyone's getting out of school? Is that it? Anyway, I think we're kind of wandering into Chinatown now. It's 36 in Peoria. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, this is perfect. This will take us straight to, uh, yeah, this is good. This will take us straight to the entrance to the Manhattan Bridge. Ah, this is perfect. This is perfect for the route.
Uh, looking forward to those summer sunsets. Me too. We were getting there. I mean, we were, it was getting warm. And then we just lost it all. <laughs> I'm ho I can't wait for those warm fireworks Friday nights. Yeah, no, seven and a half inches of snow here in New York City. Yeah, Coney Island got 18 inches for the season. Yeah, I know. Kind of crazy, Steve. We need more snow. <laughs> but eventually winter will rear its head soon as we approach Canal. This is where Canal Street turns in here. Ooh, they got the momos. Yes. Now look at the milli, mega million. Mega billion, more like. I just want nobody to hit one more time. Even though I have a ticket for the mega millions. <laughs> I just hope, I just hope nobody hits for one more time. So I can say 1.4 billion dollars. Go check the color factory. That's, we're pretty far away from there, the color factory. Yeah, not, sixth and spring. Yeah, we're kind of far from that. I'm going east. Walt Erie, thanks you so much for subscribing. Liked and subscribed. Thank you so much, much appreciated. Let me entertain you. Let me entertain you. Can we get to 330 likes? That'll be fantastic. Let's get to 330 likes here in the crazy streets of New York. Arjun Lawaha, welcome. Color Factory got to pay for it too. Color Factory is a paid experience. I've done it with the Duchess. We went on our little photo mission there. Would have said that earlier, but it's a five minute. Is it really a five minute buffer? Make sure you hit the live button. You might be behind on the chat there, Walt. You might be behind on the chat. Make sure you re up, uh, what's it, reload the broadcast. There's a little button that says live. You hit that. There you go. Did you hit it? Are you all caught up now? Sometimes it drops. I think the current latency is uh, 12 to 22 seconds, depending on how you're connected. Color Factory is on your dream gallery list? I mean, the Color Factory is cool. Ah, there you go. Appreciate that. <coughs> Across the street. You know what, Jim? I'm walking with the wind. So it feels good. There you go. Absolutely, Steve. That's, that, that's always up for, up for grabs. If we hit a thousand, if we hit a thousand likes, during a live stream, I will go swim with the polar bears. That's always on the table. You know, the latency is higher on 1080. Yeah, there's a lot more happening. The phone's doing a lot more work when we broadcast at 1080 nibble. So, and plus there is a setting for the latency that Prism Live has. So make sure that's like, I think I have it set to ultra low at this point. Dazza Pants, good to see you. Welcome. Drivers need to test their horns, absolutely. It's New York. As we cross Elizabeth Street. We're on Elizabeth. We're walking east. A long canal. And we're gonna cut right in front of a right in front of the Manhattan Bridge coming up next.
Do the Coney Island polar bears have a good whiskey? Uh, you know, you know what's funny? Some most of the polar bears do not drink or anything like that. So there are some who do, but the majority of them no. So I don't think they have any kind of whiskey or anything like that. Yeah, me too. Photos. Me too. All right. Let's cross this crazy intersection here. Well, you know, Steve, that honking law has actually always been in effect. It just it's never uh, enforced. So the honking violations, I believe, came into effect in in like the 1970s, 1960s. But we we don't really enforce it. Okay, I have the light. This is the Bowery right here. Crossing the Bowery, Manhattan Bridge right in front of us. <clears throat> the grand entrance to the Manhattan Bridge right there. And to complement the grand entrance, we have a grand bank. This, is, uh, this building was originally called the Bank of the Bowery. It is still a bank today. It's an HSBC. 76 degrees in Orlando going up to 82. That's too hot. That's too hot for me. I don't want 80 degrees just yet. There you go. Use of alcohol is prohibited in the club and while swimming. There you go, people. So, yes, the Coney Island Polar Bear Club is a dry club. It's a dry club, which is good. The grand, look at all the pigeons. Look at all the pigeons there. Bloody hell. Absolutely, K Pepper. Absolutely. Let's see if we got a cool shot of the of the bridge towers here. Keep on hitting that like button. 825 people watching and only a 233 likes. Can we break the two-thirds ratio, people, and keep on hitting that like button to get to 315 likes? 315 likes. That'll be fantastic. Let's get to 315 likes. That will be fantastic. 315 likes. Got 234 in the box. 234 in the box. I want I want 315. I want 315. I want to see 315 here in the Bowery and Canal Street. Canal Street and the Bowery. We only have 241 likes in the box. Let's get to 315 people. 315 people. 241 in the box. And 324 people watching. We could cross the street now, people. We could cross the street now, people. 243 likes. We got 243 likes. With 324 people watching. Come on, people, keep on hitting that like button. Keep on hitting that like button. Come on. Keep on hitting that like button. Come on. Keep on hitting that like button. Keep on hitting that like button. We got 247 in the box. Let's get the 315. Let's get that 315, people. I would be a good auctioneer, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, there it is, the Manhattan Bridge. The Manhattan Bridge, the fourth and final bridge built over the East River. The Manhattan Bridge completed in December 1909. Thank you so much, JR, for smashing the button twice. 250 likes, 250 likes. We need 315, baby, 315. Don't you love the grand entrance to the Manhattan Bridge? The Manhattan Bridge, one of the first bridges of its size on the planet Earth to use prefabrication. Prefabrication built by the Phoenix Steel Corporation. The towers of the Manhattan Bridge rose from their foundations in just nine and a half months. This is way back in 1903, 1904. Behold the Manhattan Bridge. Every time a subway train goes over the Manhattan Bridge, the bridge flexes and torques up to 2.7 meters or 8 feet. Don't worry, the bridge is perfectly safe, but you can come here on YouTube and search for a video called Manhattan Bridge Time Lapse. You'll find a bunch of videos of the bridge bouncing and bouncing and moving over the course of a day. 156 likes in the box. Let's get to 315. Let's get to 315, baby. Let's get to 315. We need 315. We need 315 in the box. Come on, baby. Come on. 
Verona Glen, beautiful views indeed. New York City, even though it's cold, it's always beautiful. The grand entrance. Brooklyn used to have a grand entrance too, but we got rid of that thanks to Robert Moses. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. By the way, he hated being called Bobby. <laughs> I gotta get in the sun. Let's go across the street. I'm gonna walk along Sarah D. Roosevelt Park. It's good to see everybody, people. 258 people watching and only 300, 317 people watching and, two, and only 258 likes. Come on, keep hitting that like button. Let's get to 315. Let's get to 315. Come on. Oh, do I have the light or do I not? I think he could turn on the red, but he's not turning. A more flower. Beautiful day to walk in Manhattan. A little windy, a little cold, but still beautiful nonetheless. I'm going to walk along the sidewalk here. And I, I guess we could go. I don't know. I think the light might be malfunctioning here. A great spot for the light to malfunction. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Steve, absolutely. Steve, it's going to get a lot more crowded by the time we get to Midtown. So I'm hoping to end the live stream today at Macy's. So we'll see. Dan Harsman, good to see you. Welcome. 263 likes. But there's 318 of you guys watching. Come on, can we hit 315? <laughs> Let's hit 315 likes. Good to see everybody, people. As we neander around the city today looking for art. Yeah, Steve, a nice long walk. Nice long tour here in New York City. I will not be covering this evening's sunset DA. That's a long time from now. That's 7 o'clock. I believe it's what, 7.10 or 7.08 is sunset this evening. So can't go that long. I would like to, but I can't. If you're new to the channel, uh, this is what I kind of do. We kind of go for long little treks in the city, but it is kind of curated. So it is curated. So there's stuff to see along the way. We use the power of the grid to see the city. And today we're kind of we're going to kind of neander from the east side to the west side. It's a little zigzag today. We should do about four. Yesterday we did almost exactly fourteen thousand steps. It's like fourteen thousand two hundred and change. So I think we're going to hit that again today. We hit three hours on the walk. So we're going to go to the grocery store on Grand. But after watching, <laughs> yeah, give it, Steve, give it, give it tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a little bit warmer. Tomorrow's going to be not, I have a feeling tomorrow's going to be not that bad of a day. It's Saturday. Saturday, I'm, I'm, I'm already canceling my tour on Saturday. I'm going to be, uh, I'll most likely be live streaming from the house on Saturday. So, yeah. 14,000 steps is good. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, it's nice now, if you're not in the wind, and if you're in the sun, it's actually really nice out. Like right now, it feels really good out here. Yep, plus biking two hours. Exactly. Uh, a lot of rain photos, a lot of rain. Grand Street, Grand Street at Christie, underneath us the Christie Street connection. You're going to be working at Luna on Saturday? Awesome! Well, Saturday is going to be a kind of a washout day. I'll be there on Sunday, though. I will be there on Sunday for op official opening day. The official opening day. Yeah, chance of rain on Saturday pretty much 100 percent it's going to be a washout the rain's going to come in at probably four or five in the morning maybe even overnight from friday 
And then it's going to pretty much rain straight until the evening. So pretty much all the daylight hours are. It's got to be rain. Keep on hitting that like button. Can we get to 325 likes? Keep on hitting that like button. Because it'll be great if we can get to 325 likes. And it's true nibble. Here we go. It's our first sighting of our friend. Here he is by the same artist we saw in, in the gallery. Here's our friend Flacco right here. Good to see a creative moment. We do love Flacco. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, Steve. Yes, indeed. But there he is with this cool dragon here. With this cool dragon. Because it is the year of the dragon. Flacco is still all over the city. Let's go to our next stop. It's right up the block here. Just a few blocks up. Ah, awesome, K Pepper. Awesome. We're gonna head up now to Freeman Alley. We have another Flacco over there. Yeah, we're gonna. We always remember Flacco, especially on this channel and Sean's channel, Bagels and Walks. We always remember Flacco. I think Flacco is one of like my favorite stories, like recent stories about like New York and New York culture. It's just so cool that like a whole bunch of random New Yorkers decided to chase this bird all around town, make sure he's okay for like a whole year. Get the kayak out for Saturday. No, thank you. No, thank you, Susan. I am not getting the kayak out. I mean, if it floods in my neighborhood, which is perfectly, uh, it's within the realm of possibilities. I do, I do live on a level one floodplain. So. <laughs> oh, look at this car. That's kind of cool. Got flowers all over it. Wow. That's kind of neat. Wow. I can see me and the Duchess driving around in that with, ch with our chihuahuas. <laughs> yeah, he flew across the Rainbow Bridge. But you know, at least the last year of his life, he was like thriving. When I look at pictures of Flacco in, ca in captivity and then pictures of Flacco when he escaped, he, he looks so full of life. So. You're more than welcome, Jer. You're more than welcome. All right, Glancy Street we're crossing now. Still going north along Christie. Bowery Ballroom right over there. Is that the, is that, is that, is that the yellow car from Panini Rustico? <laughs> That's a nice little car. I love that little yellow car at Panini Rustico. I could eat Panini Rustico every day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that a Fiat? That's cool. But I'm happy we got to experience Flacco's story. And again, it was just so cool. It was like literally, it's the one only thing that keeps me on Twitter is wildlife and birds here in New York City. So it's like literally the one thing. You know, Flacco's story is amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. Got a big concrete boom up ahead. 
And here comes Rivington Street. I can start cutting blocks towards Broadway. Yeah, I'm gonna do like a zigzag, Steve. We got a couple of places here on the east side that we're gonna check out. And then I'm gonna begin to cut my way back kind of towards 6th Avenue. So Lynn, uh, unfortunately Flacco died by flying into a glass building. It was, it was really sad. He flew, he flew into a glass building. And this is something that happens very often. Look at this crazy mural. Good to see you, Travis. Look at this crazy mural by viewer or viewer. Oh, this is so cool. Got the Panda. We got the subway and it's a correct train that runs underneath us, a D train. The B and the D run underneath us in the Christie Street connection. That's cool. Now right over here is Freeman Alley. And this is where we're gonna go to next. There's always something cool. Well, look at this. We got some new, new pieces in here. Oh, so of course somebody's car is parked in here. Look at this, they got this beautiful. These are so great. Well, let's see, let's go say hi to Flacco. He's down here. Here he is. Look at these. These are great. It's a shame that somebody parked their car here, but then again, this is probably their alley. It is a private, pro technically private property. Here's our friend. I'll see you later, photos. Here's that, here's that print we saw in the revolving store, right there in the flesh in real life. Look at him, looking so cool. We love Flacco. We are gonna always love Flacco. We're never gonna forget about Flacco. Flacco is a forever a New Yorker and in our hearts, forever in our hearts. Flacco. Oh, I love that little guy. Could have missed him. Yeah, Nabul, there's a lot of art to see in New York. We're now going to hit up, uh, we're now going to go over to First and Green. Um, Karen, I'm glad you enjoy this. Coming up next, we're going to go to First and Green. Lexi Bella and Danielle Mastrian, friends of the channel, uh, have cooked up some new murals in honor of Women's History Month. So we got some cool murals, some more cool murals in art coming up next. Good to see you, G Monster. Welcome. Got to walk north along Christie Street again. This is a concrete boom right here. So what they do here is you have the concrete here on street level in a truck. They shoot it up and they spit it out that little that little guy right there. That's what they, when they say shoot concrete, that's what they mean. They shoot it up, way up in these cranes, and then that little hose there serves the floor that they were working on. This is a very expensive machine. Right? There's no way around it. It's an expensive machine. Beach bum, I'm glad you enjoy. I'm glad you enjoy. Glad everyone enjoys this. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the Dutch Moss Family Networks here on YouTube and on Instagram, all same name at Dutch Moss. And make sure you hit the notification bell because I never know when I'm gonna go live next. Ah, Christy Street, yeah, Lower East Side, Ben. Christy Street and Sarah D. Roosevelt Park. There's Lexi Bella's art in Instagram. She might still be working on her wall, so let's see. She might still be working on her wall. But she collabed with Danielle and another artist, and I think it's art by Gia, if I'm not mistaken. And these three women put together a fabulous piece over at First and Green. That's where we're heading to next. We are coming up. Thank you so much. There's Danielle's link right there. Did 
Danielle's back in Coney, working on the Coney Island sign underneath the Wonder Wheel. Yeah, yeah, Steve, that's what's happening. A lot of buildings as of late are accumulating various air rights. So you're getting a lot of like, like little finger-like buildings pop up everywhere. They've kind of changed the ruling on how buildings accumulate air rights. Sometimes they accumulate air rights in buildings that, that are not even on like the block. So it's kind of weird. But hey, it's an ever-changing city. And yeah, if you ever go to Paris, you can check out some of Danielle's latest work. Yeah, if you ever go to Paris, you can check out a you can check out a Danielle Mastrion original. Coming up to Houston Street. Of course, not Houston, Houston Street. Houston Street, Houston, the family, the Dutch family that owned the land around this area. And once we cross north of Houston, we are officially on the grid plan. Should not be this cold. It can be this cold. It could snow. It could be colder than this. It could be colder than this. This is how it is. It gets warm. We get, we get a little mini uh, springtime, and then it gets cold again. Next week, it's going to get warm again, so don't worry about it. The bus is letting go. Hey, I got to hop in the back of the bus. Yeah. I got to hop in the back of the bus. I won't, though. Oh, wow. We have the light. We have the light, people. Oh, no. It's first in green. Closed? I've never seen first and green closed. Oh no, there it is. It's open. It's open. You just got to go down there. Man, they're doing some kind of work over here. Yep, Cat's Deli. Just a couple of blocks down in that direction. Bloody hell, wind chill of negative five. Daniel, stay warm. That's cold. Okay, maybe I can. Maybe it's not open. Let's see, let's see if we go around. Is First and Green really closed? I have never seen this place closed. Never. Oh, well, here we go. We could get in here. First, first and green. So much great. Here's a Danielle Mastrion. <laughs> All right, let's see this. I've been excited to see this. Look. Wow, this is so freaking cool. This is the one. This is the one Danielle worked on right here. Dude. This is art by art by Gia. And then right here is Lexi Bell. And then this is another one. 
I don't know who did this one. Let's see. Let's see. Can we read her? Can we read her Instagram? Don't you love this? Oh my god. This is the kind of stuff I thrive for to show on the live stream. Keep on hitting that like button. Come on, guys. Can we break 350? Wow, there's so many of you guys watching. And you guys keep tuning back. After I ask for a like, you guys leave but then come back. Absolutely, Julie. Absolutely. Isabel Ewing, Ewing did this one up here. Maybe she did this whole thing. So cool. stuff first in green everybody that's where we're at right now it's the kind of stuff I live for the live stream so like you go to cats and then you can come here and check out all the cool street art I mean you can't go wrong it's a great little afternoon am I right I like this. Look at this. Hectag was here. What the fuck? <laughs> Gotta love New York. Gotta love New York. All right, let's transition. Let's transition over to the west side. That's what we're gonna do. We've got 10 seconds on the clock here. Second Avenue. Second Avenue, and it's his first street, or East First Street down here. You'll see another mural right across the street here once we get the light. Keep on hitting that thumbs up, guys. We haven't even broke 300, and there's 331 of you guys watching. Keep on hitting that thumbs up. Ah, this is like a, uh, this is like a whatchamacallit, like a wheat paste. Ah, that's pretty cool. A little wheat paste right here, a little wheat paste action. <laughs> That changes quite often, that little exit right there. Can we hit 350 likes? Come on, guys. Let's hit 350. We were up there already. Let me know that you're enjoying the stream. It will help more people find it and ensure that you see more stuff like this on YouTube. We hit 300. We hit 300. Got a lot of people just uh, that are not committed. No, they, I mean, they're waiting for something better to come on or a better live streamer that they feel more comfortable talking in. Um, usually about themselves, just saying. I was watching a live stream yesterday and there was like no interaction between the person live streaming 
and the people in the chat. The chat was just talking about just the most randomest shit. They were literally all talking amongst themselves. And this guy was out and about in the field and they're just, oh my God, it's so messed up. <laughs> anyway, we're back on the Bowery. We're going west along Houston Street right now. And we're gonna see what the Bowery Wall looks like, which is right across the street. Old CBGB's is in this direction here. <laughs> yes, in TJ. Yeah. That's true, lectures aren't that interesting, that's true. <laughs> that's true. All right, here's the Bowery Wall, which, eh, it's kind of interesting, kind of cool. This has faded quite a bit already. I think people tagged this and they, they power washed it a couple of times. These little stickers don't do good in the power washing. But, yeah. Yeah, Broadway's right over there, so. I guess we'll go straight along Broadway. See what we got. See what we got. Yeah, not a cloud in the sky. It's windy. So that's usually what happens on windy cold days like today. It's like no clouds. You almost need suntan lotion because the sun is still strong. But I'll cook. I'll be fine. <laughs> Let's see, they're filming here. Let's see what they're filming. Oh, the blue hat is filming here on Monday the 25th. And Betty with a $5 super chat. Betty, thank you so much for the very generous $5 super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $5 club. Much, much, much appreciated. And thank you with a very generous $5 super chat. And since you are the first super chat of the live stream, Betty, I want to thank you. Thank you so much for buying my Metro card out here. Much appreciated. Thank you so much, Betty, for sponsoring today's live stream. Much appreciated there, Betty. Thank you so much. Well, Betty, I'm glad you're enjoying. And I hope everyone else is enjoying. Keep on hitting that thumbs up. Let's get to 350 likes. Yeah, let's do Washington Square Park, actually. Let's, we'll, we'll wander down to Washington Square Park. Got a really neander here. And then we'll take like Fifth Avenue a little bit of the way. Then we'll head down the one avenue down to, uh, to the sixth avenue. Liz, aloha, welcome. Aloha, Liz. Aloha, everybody. Making our way west along Houston Street at the moment. What are we approaching here? I think we're approaching center. Center or Lafayette. One of them. I think we're on Lafayette. I think we're on Lafayette. And there's Crosby. So yeah, this is Lafayette. Ah, awesome, Karen. We really are like zigzagging today, so. We really are zigzagging today. So now we're going west again. For the most part, we're going north. But now we're going west again. Hey, do we have anyone here from Alaska? <laughs> The 
the sights and sounds of New York. Coast Kid, I'm glad you're enjoying. If you're just tuning in, don't hang out on the sidelines. Tell me where you're watching from. Let me give you a shout out. Welcome to New York City. Okay. Loud siren, oh my God, loud siren. Causing traffic. Oh, this car is parked in the turning lane. It's amazing how one, one car slowed everybody down. Just the one, just the one. It's kind of crazy. One car slows everybody down. Oh, the, uh, the Rip and Dip cat getting some love. That's nice to see. Yeah, Rip and Dip. Thank you so much for sponsoring the live stream, everybody. Oh my God, Mary's aren't these murals? Weren't those murals? Weren't those murals great? This guy almost got tackled by me. That guy almost got it on the scooter. Good to see you, Nick, out there in Winnipeg. Good to see you there. Get a Molson for me, eh? Give me a nice cold Molson there, eh? And a beer. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying this on the television there. And it should look good. I do my darndest to make these broadcasts look good for you guys. And it's mostly thanks to the channel members with their monthly donation of $5. They're helping me do this channel full time and eventually travel so we could see more than just New York. Stay tuned for more exciting adventures. We're, we're still kind of just getting warmed up here, which is pretty cool. Passing bleaker streets. Yeah, I should have taken him out. Well, he, I mean, he would have got taken out by just me turning around because he came up behind me on the on the scooter. He should have waited just like a half a second, but he was in go mode. Going north along Broadway, approaching Bond Street at the moment. Great Jones in West 3rd Street. Coming up next. And Darlene W. With a $10 super chat. Darlene, thank you so much for the very generous $10 super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $5 Club two times today. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $10 super chat. Darlene, you have bought my hot coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. And I will try, I'll try to find some combos with that too. Thank you so much, Darlene, with a big $10 super chat. Much appreciated there, Darlene. Much, much, much appreciated. so much darling and thank you so much also for being a channel member thanks to channel members like you this broadcast is brought to us in stunning 1080p
Keep on hitting that like button. Let's get to 350 likes. Let's get to 350 likes, people. Oh, man. I wanted to go to Tower Records. Oh, man. It's not here anymore, man. Not here anymore, man. Can't get my cassette single, man. Oh, man. What a shame. And MXP2000 with a $5 super chat. MXP, thank you so much for the very generous $5 super chat. Thank you so much for today's $5 club. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $5 super chat. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's live stream. Now, what you say there, I will grab a donut with that coffee. How about this? I'll grab two donuts with that very generous super chat. Thank you so much, MXP2000. With a big $5 super chat, Darlene. And Betty, thank you so much for your super chats. That's what the people want to see. The city in chaos. When I walk the streets, I fear for my life. Oh my God, look at that. Ice, ice people. Ice people, whoa. And the gimbal, gimbal acting funny too. All right, okay, it's recentered. That was weird. Anyway, a donut for each hand. Truly, one of the best things in life. This is like Mad Max and the Thunderdome. We walk around there, everything on fire. Chaos everywhere. <coughs> Can't even do my voices, it's so dry out here. Yeah, the, I think the gimbal's cold, yeah. Din Din, yeah. The gimbal's acting a little funny. And Mary, <laughs> and Mary McHugh with a $5 super chat. Mary McHugh, thank you so much for the very generous $5 super chat. Thank you so much for today's $5 club. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $5 super chat. Now I could get a dozen donuts for me and the Duchess. <laughs> thank you so much, Mary, for that very generous donation. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's live stream. Thank you so much. Dunkin' Donuts are not good. They're, they're I like them. They're fine. We can't go to Donut Plant every day. We can't go to Mike's Donuts in Bay Ridge every day. Good to see you, Scott. Welcome. Where are we? We're approaching a... <coughs> uh, ooh, dust. We are approaching Washington Square Park. Sorry, sorry headphone viewers. There's like dust around. Ooh, there's dust around here. They're like grinding. They're like grinding concrete or something like that. We're about to enter Washington Square Park. All right now, thank you so much, Nibble. Appreciate that. All right. Let's see what Washington Square Park looks like today. Let's see what the park looks like today. <clears throat> 327 likes. We got to hit 350. I mean, we were up to 375 viewers for a moment there. I know when we, when we fall below 300, that means somebody else is on. <laughs> Instead of angel dust, it's the devil's dust, man. That ain't angel dust, man. That's the devil's dust, man. Woo! <laughs> man, you think she could party, man? Hey, I got the devil's dust, man. Think he could party, man? Can't can't out party me, bruh. Got the devil's dust, man. Yeah, he thinks he can blow me out with some childlike PCP, man, or some 
You see me? I, I dig. I put angel dust in my coffee, man. You want to roll with me, man. You got to do some devil dust, man. <laughs> do I own a dog? I would like to own a dog, MXP. When my housing situation gets a little bit more firm, where me and the Duchess are hoping to get a Chihuahua, Devil's dust going down the street. That's right. Uh, it's kind of chill here in the park. Not too crazy. Dude, the crowds here. Wonder if I scream devil's dust, somebody will try to sell me something. <laughs> yeah, it's too cold, even for the drug dealers. I can't find some devil's dust anywhere, man. Deviled eggs for you. Yeah, it makes sense. Now oh, we got our... The dancer's always here. And you can see the wind. The wind picking up. Yeah, I think I'm going to do fifth. Let's do fifth. Let's do fifth and then we'll swing on Broadway after 23rd. That's right, Strawberry. Look at this, we got a blossoming magnolia tree over here. Hey man, this is a blossoming magnolia tree, man. Yes, and there you go, Nick, there you go. Okay, magnolia tree's coming out. Looking good. It's summertime, it's, Chris it's Christmas time. It's springtime, everybody. It's springtime. Good to see you, Julio. Good afternoon. Welcome to Washington Square Park. Right here underneath the arch. Park looking great today. Nice and calm out here. Man, we could munch in the magnolia, man. <laughs> Good to be the old stoner for the rest of the live stream now. Man, we can just chew in some magnolia, man. We don't need no food, man. That's just a construct from the corporations, man. Good to see you, Lee. Welcome. Yeah, it's windy. Hopefully you guys can't hear it on the microphones. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. All the trees are blossoming along fifth here. Yeah, it came in just at the right time, right when I lose my freaking mind. What does the arch represent? This is for um, George Washington. This is for George. This is in honor of George Washington. I believe. More importantly, it's it's like to reference like the American Revolution. Audio is good. Awesome. Oh yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna walk north along Fifth Avenue, man. And I'm gonna live stream the street and I'm gonna freak people out by talking like this, man. <laughs> you know what's my, I gotta, I gotta give you guys my favorite, my favorite sketch, Macho Man Randy Savage. Good to see you, Sir Namor, I appreciate that. I'll give you my favorite Macho Man Randy Savage. And this is like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of adding and taking away words. But you know what they always say? The cream always rises to the top. <laughs> the cream always rises to the top. <laughs> Whenever I need motivation in the morning when I'm going to work on a freezing cold morning like this morning, I'll watch Macho Man Randy Savage and talk about how the cream always rises to the top. And it gets me so fucking motivated. Good to see you, Marty. Oh yeah, 8th Street. <laughs> Positively 8th Street. I know, ex exactly, Steve, exactly. Exactly. Oh, this guy's, what's this, what's this guy on Facebook or something like that? He's just hanging out the light. He's like, ah, I'm just on Twitter. Are you on Twitter? I think he's on Twitter. 
Good to see you, Robinson Lopes. Welcome. Oh, he's driving with the cone, everybody. Oh, we don't need another hero. See? See how chaotic New York is? Trucks driving around with cones attached to the bottom of them. There you go. The arch was erected in uh, 1889. And yeah, Fifth Avenue used to go right through it. William Rhineland Stewart designed it there. Thank you so much, Nibble. He said it on Periscope, man. <laughs> I know, I know. He's on MySpace. <laughs> I'm checking out the newest music artists. We all know the best music artists are on, are on MySpace. <laughs> Let's see if they got a tour guide on the bus. Nope. No tour guide. Nope. Do not ride the do not ride the double decker bus. I still gotta take over that bus. I gotta invite Ange and, and Sean and we gotta just ride the double decker bus one day. I'm just gonna take it over and start giving a tour. Go up a couple blocks of light, light, light. You mean the High Line? The High Line's on the far west side. High Line's on the far west side. It begins at Gunsvolt Street and goes all the way north to 34th. We're not going to do the High Line today. <laughs> Actually, let's, use, let's walk in the buffer. Let's walk in the buffer for a little bit. You guys can see the view of the Empire State Building getting getting taken away by that new building that nobody likes. Yeah. So yeah, there is an audio guide, but I know that for the, I know for the big bus, it was, it was uh, recorded in 2013. <laughs> yeah, Periscope, dude, you're so high right now, exactly. <laughs> Good to see you there, NYC girl. Welcome. Absolutely, Karen. I'll try to alert you guys for that. That would be an epic live stream. I really, I really want to take this over. Where is he going? Where is he going? See, this is what happens when they park in the buffer. He's just going to back into people. <laughs> Some humans. Good to see you, Yulia. Welcome. I'm glad we got in your Ah, there you go, Nibble. Yeah, nothing has changed since 2013. Exactly. See, the problem is he was in the buffer. He was in what's called daylighting the intersection there. So he was in the he was in the buffer. He shouldn't have been there. It was an Uber, so they're doing their thing. And if you're following along, we're going now north along Fifth Avenue, approaching Eleventh Street. Yeah, so I'll, I'll show you how the buffer works. So here in New York, we're, we're, we're making it a lot easier for cars to turn the corners. So what we do here is, in this case here, we got the buffered bike lane, floating parking over here. And then you see this little gray area right here? You are not supposed to park here. This is part of the, of the intersection here, part of the, uh, the crosswalk here. And as you see, they even have the plastic poles. But you're not supposed to turn, and the reason for this is to what they call daylighting. So basically when the car makes a turn, they have a line of sight here. So they know if they're gonna hit anyone or not. So it is all for safety. There's a reason for it, but some people don't know how to use the infrastructure correctly, so. This is why I am I am for congestion pricing. I think there's too many cars, but I think there needs to be changes to congestion pricing. I don't think people who live within the five boroughs 
should pay for congestion pricing because there are areas of the city that are not transit accessible. And for some people, especially in Eastern Queens and Staten Island, they, they don't really have any options. So I think people who live in the five boroughs, period, should have um, should, should not have to pay the congestion charge. It's the people from the suburban counties. They should pay, they should pay the surcharge. Yeah, that's true, Squid. Absolutely, Squid. I mean, I, I got to retake my tour guide license every two years. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. They're very entitled. Yeah, that's true, Marty. That's true. I trip over them from time to time myself. Wow, we're already approaching 14th Street. It's to make us poor? Not necessarily, no. I mean, cities all around the world have congestion areas. And New York, with its grid, we could really accommodate for a movement of a lot more people. So, unfortunately, we devote 70% of all of our street space to the automobile, and most of these cars have a single person in them. So... I think it's time to... I think it's time to uh, begin to make the streets a lot more equi equitable for everybody. But that's my two cents on it. I think there's quite a bit of people who live in the suburbs who have options to take LIRR or, um, or uh, Metro North into the city or ferry service into the city. And uh, they simply don't. The people who do the car just because they can. Buy the book, good to see you. So, uh, a car is a liability. I mean, a bicycles, e-bikes are liabilities. Everything's a liability. Once you get moving in the street, everything's a liability. But to drive a car here, it's not fun. Yes, no, London has con congestion pricing for a very long time at this point, and it does work. Um, but there's still people who are willing to pay the charge just so they could drive in. Not necessarily, Steve, no. And also, I think the congestion pricing should be timed. So I think oh, we, we should incentivize trucks and stuff like that to make their deliveries in the Central Business District uh, overnight. So we should incentivize that. And overnight, I don't think the congestion pricing charge should be enacted. It should only be for like, kind of like daylight hours. I mean, if you have an e-bike, you don't need a car. You really don't. 14th Street, Union Square, right down the block over there. We're still going north along Fifth Avenue. And that's the other weird thing. Yeah, for the money to solely go to the MTA is a little shady. I should have went to the MTA meeting? Nah. My voice is not going to be heard. And plus, I don't have the time for that. I got YouTube videos to make and tours to give. What are we at here? 15th Street. 15th Street. Still going north along Fifth Avenue. No, exactly, MXP. No, I, I don't think trucks and stuff like that, they should pay a congestion charge if they come into the city during the day. I don't think they shouldn't be a congestion charge overnight. 
when there's like nothing going on. It's a bit of a cash grab. <laughs> yeah, Karen, it, it could be challenging. It could be challenging. Anyway, anyway, approaching 16th Street. Well, the Verrazano Bridge, you know, that's an urban legend about the Verrazano Bridge. And like once the bridge is paid off, they will take away the toll. That's like an urban legend. It's the Verrazano Bridge is a dynamic structure and it moves. And actually, if you adjust the price for inflation, the bridge has always, the Verrazano Bridge has always averaged at around $10. So, when it first opened, if you adjust it for inflation, it's about $10. So, you, you will always be paying for that bridge. Welcome again, John Lohr. Making our way north along Fifth Avenue. Passing 17th Street. And Stephanie Gray. Oh, what, what is this here? How many? How many did we do here? And Ramona A. Gifting five memberships of Dutch Miles Plus. Ramona! Thank you so much for gifting five memberships of Dutch Miles Plus. It is much, much, much appreciated. Let's see who was gifted a membership here. Ramona A. gifted Ben Schuster, Stephanie Gray, Karen Mays, Travis Weeks, and Chris Montjoy. Enjoy those custom emojis, guys, and thank you to Ramona. And thank Ramona up over there in North Carolina for the five memberships to Dutch Moz Plus. Thank you so much, Ramona. It is much, much, much appreciated. Breaking out the Baby Yoda. Breaking out the Baby Yoda. Thank you so much, Ramona. Awfully, awfully kind of you. Yeah, Mary, no, it's not fun to drive in New York. It's not fun. It's not fun to drive in New York, people. I don't recommend it. 344, yeah, I'm watching right now. A boot. Always love the graphics, appreciate that. Give you more incentive <laughs> to donate. Very kind of Ramona, absolutely. Welcome to the new members. That's right, that's why Ramona has a street name for her in Staten Island. That's right. Going down the Ramona Street? Yeah, I'm bringing over the canoe. <laughs> oh my God, I would love to go to Bloomington, North Carolina. I would live stream there. Boa tarde, Brazil. Banjo está live, welcome. Enjoy those custom emojis. We're almost to the Flatiron Building. What are we at here now, like 19? 19 or 20? I think we're at 19th. We're beginning to lose the Empire State Building behind that new boring ass building. I still can't believe they've, they, they approved this building. It just ruins the view. Staten Island has some pretty good pizza, but I think Brooklyn has the best. <laughs> but then again, I'm from Brooklyn, so there you go. Twentieth, coming up on the twentieth. It's 
21st. 21st Street. Can't believe they allowed this. Absolutely terrible. Well, look at that. Look how it's blocking the Empire State Building. The building has like 32 apartments in it, too. It's ridiculous. I don't know why, why you would block the Empire State Building, but I mean, obviously, you know, they're caring more for the people in the apartments than the, the view down on the street. But then again, from the Empire State Building, you're looking, I know it's too late now. Now, when you look from the Empire State Building, you can't see, you cannot see the Flatiron Building anymore. And that's like an iconic view. That's a very famous view. Uh, why don't we have mo motorcycle couriers? I have no idea. We have bike couriers here. Oh. Yeah, blocking the view from the south is one of the best street. Well, this whole corridor here, Ben, this is like a very historic view here as you walk from Washington Square to Madison Square Park. I mean, there's a lot of famous pictures. Bloody hell, this guy's back to make the turn. Wow, that was crazy. Yeah, we've got a lot of electric mopeds around here. But anyway, this view here along Fifth Avenue, I mean, a lot of famous photographers have taken pictures from street level with Empire State Building in the background along Fifth Avenue. So, and I mean, it's, 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 it's actually nothing necessarily to get sad about because it's kind of like out of our control. But I mean, hey, at least we got to enjoy it when we had it. But as, you know, it's the city, I get it, the city's on a museum. But I think we do need laws where we have landmarked vistas and stuff. Like hopefully we never lose water on Washington streets over in Dumbo with the Manhattan Bridge and the Empire State Building. No shirt is a scaffolding. No, this is the back side of the uh, Flatiron Building right here. This is Flatiron Building. And I don't think they have an owner. The guy who won the auction for the Flatiron Building disappeared a few days after he won the auction, and we don't know where he is. <laughs> Stephanie Stearns, good to see you. Like number 152, much appreciated. Good to see you, Stephanie Stearns. And good to see everybody, people. National Historic Landmark. There it is. Uh, originally named the Fuller Building. Nobody, ever, nobody calls it that. Completed in 1902. You know, film was still pretty much brand new in 1902. Some of the earliest outdoor films ever taken, some of the first, were filmed right here. Hey man, well, soon I want T-Mobile. Yep, it sold for 161 million dollars. And after the guy won the auction, he disappeared. And we don't know where he is. So I, I think technically, the Flatiron Building doesn't have an owner. This is Madison Square Park. This is 23rd Street. And from here, we're gonna transition onto Broadway. And on that corner over there by Broadway, by the uh, M23 bus stop, that's where I'm in not one but two episodes of Cash Cab, waiting for the bus. Bonjour, Lawrence. Buenvenue. I'm doing great. I hope you're doing great on this beautiful Thursday. There she is, the Flatiron Building, everybody.
Nice little park, Steve. The original, the first and second iterations of Madison Square Garden were here. And let's go inside. Good to see you, Penelope. It's bloody windy up there in Canada. It's bloody windy down here, too. Uh, no bagel and coffee stop. No, no, I'm not going to eat on live stream today. No eating on live. Actually, I'll have a little sip of my Dr. Pepper right now. Because I am thirsty. I'm, I'm still feeling that dust. I'm still feeling that dust that I inhaled earlier. That's right, coconut. That's right. On a windy day, we say 20 screw, 23 skidoo. Ah, let's sit down for a minute and drink some Dr. Pepper while you guys look at the Flatiron Building. Let you guys enjoy the view here for a little bit. Ah, there it is, kids. There it is. Oh, that feels good. Uh, towards the 26th is where the Veterans Day, Veterans Day pre-parade memorial happens. Yes, I believe so. Rush fan asks, how often do they tear down a skyscraper? Not very often, Rush fan, but it has been done. We've torn down quite a few skyscrapers. Probably the most famous skyscraper to be taken down recently is the original um, headquarters to the Bank of Chase Manhattan Bank there. What is the building with the clock? The building with the clock, that's the, uh, I believe, no, no, that's the, that is the Metropolitan Life Building, if I'm not mistaken. The original Metropolitan Life Building. And then down the block, yeah, right, kind of next door or a couple blocks down is the New York Life Building. But I think that's the original Metropolitan Life Building, the building with the clock tower. Somebody, somebody, uh, Somebody back me up on that. The Singer Building was torn down. The Singer Building is actually one of the most beautiful buildings to ever be torn down. And actually one of the first buildings where people protested its demise. People really loved the Singer Building. Today, replaced by an ugly, very uninspired building at One Liberty Plaza. The sun's in your eyes. Yes, indeed. Ah, oh, that's good. And it's nice and cold. Uh, look at the Flatiron Building. We're now going to transition on to Broadway and make our way into Macy's. Ron N. Good to see you. Ah, yes. Another building to be torn down, a rather large building to be torn down. It's the Deutsche Bank building. The Deutsche Bank building, just south of the World Trade Center, when the attacks of September 11th happened, that building was fatally damaged. A massive 40-story long gouge was created when the South Tower of the World Trade Center collapsed. And that building had to be taken down. Unfortunately, some firemen died uh, at, during a fire at that building when they were tearing that building down, when they were doing some uh, asbestos removal. So I wasn't on Cash Cab Beach Bum. I was waiting for the bus here at 23rd Street and Broadway, and there were two episodes where, one episode, the Cash Cab drove by me very slowly and so you could see me in the background for like a second. And then there was another episode where the I was waiting for the bus and whoever was playing, they lost. So the cab dropped them off right there in the corner and you see me like waiting for the bus there. So they're condos, they're condos, Jack. All right, so yes, the, the, the clock tower is the Metropolitan Life Insurance Building. It's now the Edison Hotel. There you go, see, I knew it. I knew it, Stephanie. Thank you so much. But yes, the, the Flatiron building is being turned into condos. But I think because we don't know who the owner is, we don't know what's exactly happening. But there, there is more scaffolding on the building, though, as of late. 
So maybe they're finally getting some work done. Maybe. All right, let's keep on moving. Let's keep on moving, kitties. Yeah, everything's condos nowadays. Yeah, Mary, the Singer building was gorgeous. And it's being replaced with, well, it was replaced with literally a black box. It's really a shame. Singer building, even though Singer building was kind of like a waste of space, it was like, there was a lot of floors that were like weird floors that they couldn't rent because they were uh, like ornament floors. Does the clock have the wrong time? Yes, it does. I don't think that clock's operational. I think they're redoing the building at the moment. Everything condo now are this. Everything condo. Oh, National Weather Service has issued the following. What, a flood watch, everybody? A flood watch has been issued for probably over the weekend. All right. Yes, we could cross. We could cross. Got that on your phone. Nice. Oh my God, Saturday is a total washout. I am not working on Saturday. I am staying home on Saturday. That is my plan. Stay home. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Signal bouncing around all of a sudden. Good to see you, Sandra. Yeah, flood watch until Sunday at 2 a.m. There you go. Yep, Sunday is for Coney, and the weather's looking good. It's going to be a typical opening day, John. It's going to be very windy, a little chilly in the morning, but still a perfectly fine day to ride the cyclone and ride the Wonder. Wonder Wheel is going to be cold, but hey, it'll be worth it. I am so down to ride that Wonder Wheel. I'm excited that everything's opening up again. Okay, we s gotta swing on to Broadway. Yeah, no, Saturday, you're not gonna operate any rides, I think, Coaster Kid. Cynthia Ava is back. Thanks for coming back. Awesome. That's how you know it's cold outside. All the cool lounge chairs are unoccupied. Not even by a guy smoking a cigarette. There's nobody in those, those seats. Always swinging there, MXP, always swinging. But sometimes I do stationary just to show you guys on the live stream the view. Stationary cars go the full height of the wheel, about 150, 150 feet. So, Brian Davis, good to see you. Welcome. This is the church that Nikola Tesla went to. Let's see if they have the, um, I doubt we could see it. There should be a plaque for Nikola Tesla on this. That's you only do stationary for photos. Yeah, it's kind of hard to take pictures from a swinging car. Unless it's video. Yeah, we can't see the plaque. 
We can't see the plaque, but I hope they saved this church. But this is the church Nikola Tesla went to when he lived here in New York. And there's a plaque right over there that kind of tells us the story of that. Ed Allen, good to see you. I hope they saved this building. Yeah, I think it is landmarked, John. So hopefully they save it. I don't know if they're going to save it or not. New York owns the market on scaffolding. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right, let's use the, uh, the buffer here. The pedestrianization of Broadway here features this lovely outdoor area. A little bit too cold today for outdoor dining, that's for sure. Ooh, got the sun shining off that building. Thanks for hitting that like button. No, the Scott, the Singer building is long gone. Yes, there is a museum for Nikola Tesla inside the New Yorker Hotel. He lived there from 1933 to 1943. Yes, indeed. Thanks for hitting that like button. Much appreciated. Good to see you, Dave, in Bangor, Maine. Good to see everybody, people. Ooh, the birds are really... <laughs> I wonder if those are real sounds. <laughs> or they're just putting them in there. It's a Mexican grill. So now we're, we're going north again along Broadway. We kind of went over to Nic the Nic Nicola Tesla Church over on uh, 26th. All right, 25th, I forget. I think it's 25th. You can hear the yellow line down below us. Is that an R, W, N, or Q train? I wonder. <laughs> Tin, the original Tim Pan Alley, right here on West 28th Street. A lot of great music published all out of that street right there. As we continue north along Broadway.
<laughs> when I'm going to come to Williamsburg soon. Don't know when, but soon. What are we at here? 29. 29 streets. I can begin to see Herald Square coming into view. The feast in July. That's right, baby. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely be in Williamsburg for that. Oh, the dance of the Giglio. Hi, everyone. Did I ever tour the new Penn Station? Did they ever fix up the New Jersey Transit Area? They haven't fixed up the New Jersey Transit Area. We have been to the Moynihan Transit Hall before. Actually, that reminds me. I gotta walk over there and get some Eclipse glasses. Because they're giving Eclipse glasses out for free at the LIRR ticket booth at the Moynihan Transit Hall. But they fixed up the LIRR section. They did not fix up the uh, New Jersey Transit section. But check out the replay. We visited the Moynihan Transit Hall many times on this live stream. We usually go to the Moynihan to check out all the cool art that's inside of there. We've done it all. If you're new to the channel, we have done it all. Do you know that I am the only New York City live streamer to ever live stream from a helicopter with my legs dangling out the side of it? It's true. And the fun fact about my helicopter live stream, even though because somebody tried to like bite off it, the majority of the live stream is actually in the helicopter flying around. I know, I gotta go to Cleveland. You sure it's gonna be cloudy? <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying I Love the 80s. You know, Darlene, I was watching a video uh, with a discussion of meteorologists and they were talking about the long-term forecast for the upcoming eclipse and they said the funniest thing they go i could guarantee one thing the meteorologist says i could guarantee one thing some people are going to get great weather and some people are going to have terrible weather that is guarantees <laughs> so yeah I have no idea, Mark. I have no idea, Mark. That's a lot of, that, you're using an awful lot of uh, question marks there. I have no idea, dude. You should, you should do some videos on your channel there and, and bring awareness to it. Nebul, thank you so much for the link. There is our helicopter video. As we flew over the city. But yeah, I, I notice that people are very opinionated when they enter the chat. They want to talk about their own personal experiences and, and their own ideas. And what I recommend to do is start your own uh, you, uh, live stream or maybe a video, make a video about it. And you can bring awareness to it on your own channel. Yeah, I'll look. Am I gonna do the eclipse? I'm hoping to cover the eclipse. I'm hoping to cover the eclipse. I know, John. I know, John. Dear John, dear John. Remember that show? The weather depends. Exactly, Oleg, exactly. Who knows? Who knows how it's going to play out on April 8th? Are you starting to lose weight, Mark? Awesome. That's my job, Mark. That is my job. 
So please go on to the website, Mark. Uh, I love the I Love New York website has information to where to get free I Love New York Eclipse glasses. Here in New York City, they're available at the Long Island Railroad ticket booth at the Moynihan Transit Hall. Do I need a special camera? Not necessarily, not, not necessarily, no. It's cold outside, Arja. It's cold outside. Da -da -dee 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 -dee. Yeah, exactly. Google's a wonderful resource. I cannot answer all your questions while I walk around the streets of New York. It's a little hard to do that. I also, while I may be a licensed New York City tour guide, I can't remember everything. Especially when I'm walking around the streets of New York live streaming. Ooh, that dog is going nuts. Doggy's going nuts. Happy doggy. Okay, Google, where can I get the eclipse glasses from New York State? You can get the <laughs> eclipse glasses. I love New York free eclipse glasses at the Moynihan Transit Hall and many other, many other service stations around the state of New York. Am I by? I have no idea, Rafa. Never heard of that hotel before. I'm not good with hotels. So I do not know where the Martinique Hotel even is. 34 streets. 34th Street and Broadway. Where Broadway meets 6th Avenue. Welcome to Herald Square. And right across the street is Macy's. Miss this neighborhood. It's Midtown. It's all right. Nothing special. It's Midtown. There you go. Nebul has the answer. To my manager who is DMing me, I am not going to answer your DM while you know that I'm clearly in a broadcast. This is very annoying. So please stop messaging me. To my manager, the image that you see on the screen right now is produced through my cell phone. So thus I am not able to answer your messages. We're almost winding this live stream down. We're about to make our way into Macy's, but there's the Empire State Building. Right there. And let's see. What does Macy's look like? What does Macy's look like? Can't even speak correctly now. For the holiday flower show, for the for the spring holiday, uh, spring flower show here. And it looks like the windows are in flux, but it looks like we have a little bit of a wallpaper. The flower show is teaming up with Christian Dior. I heard he got some flowers inside the store, so let's see the inside here. Let's see if we can see a nice, cool little flower arch or something like that. Hopefully nobody's picking the flowers already. Because that's what people do can't have anything nice. Yeah. Welcome to the most fragrant floor in all of New York City. Welcome to Macy's, everybody. Okay, look at the... Uh, they got some solid colors here on the, uh, on the beams. And look at this, we got a little bit of an arch up ahead. Okay, that's all on the first and a half floor. Looks like they have everything closed off. All right. 
We got some flowers up. And we got some cool arches here for the flower show. This is nowhere near complete, so we still got a lot more time to go. But please pardon their appearance while they get ready to debut the flower show on Sunday, March 24th. Scan the QR code for more information. Or go to Macy's.com slash flower show for much, much more information. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Mirrors, people. Mirrors. Mirrors. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I know we're already inside Macy's. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this nonsense. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the Dutch Moz Family Networks here on YouTube and on Instagram, all same name at Dutch Moz. Make sure you hit the notification bell because I never know when I'm going to go live next. And from the greatest department store in the world, Macy's, this is Dutch Moss signing off. Have a fantastic New York day, whether you live here or not. I want you to hug your loved ones, cherish those moments, and good afternoon, good evening, and good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. I gotta use the bathroom. I'll see you guys later, folks. Take care. Ta ta. Bye bye. <laughs>